This is the observable universe. No one's looking at it, right? This is an observer. So, if someone were to look at electron, proton, or whatever the fuck it is, and like the double slit thing, and they go to observe it, all of a sudden, that observer, once it, once it watches, creates a chain reaction and probability where it's all going the way it's supposed to. But then it also becomes revealed with this observation that the protons are spread out with, like, this is just a theory, but the protons are spread out all throughout the universe. And it isn't until an observer comes in and observes that those protons reach out to their strains of probability. Right? This is a good example of what happens when you observe and are an observer. Whatever you look at. In fact, if you look at somewhere else after you've already looked, that starts to spread out too. And then once you look somewhere else, and you can look also here, and you'll see that the more you look, the more everything spreads and grows and starts to develop depth and canvas hell you can even come over to try to erase some but the stain is still there and you even leave a whole new imprint on what was for it is and shall be with or without yeah yeah that's what we're studying today we'll look at that later bye